Hi, you're watching Russell Investment Perspectives. I'm Mark Supaze, and I'm joined today by the CEO of Russell's Asia Pacific business, Pete Gunning. Pete, thanks for being with me. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Well, Russell recently won the 2015 Best Fund Manager Award by Money Magazine in Australia. It's a big honor, but I think many people may not really know a whole lot about Russell and what we do and the clients we serve. Talk about that. Right. So, Russell is a global multi-asset investment manager with the mission of improving financial security for people. So what that means in practice is we have a holistic view of our client's total portfolio. Unlike other investment managers that may specialize on a particular asset class or in a particular region, we have a holistic view of our client's portfolios with the outcome in mind. Well, Pete, so far in 2015, the financial markets have certainly had their share of ups and downs for everything from oil prices to government policy shifts. And I'm curious to get your views on how a multi-asset investor should navigate that kind of environment going forward. Right. So there is no doubt that uh, volatility is increasing. We've seen uh, markets diverge. We've seen currencies diverge. We've seen uh, economies diverge and, and desynchronize. So that has provided a lot more volatility, but I think importantly for our portfolio managers, it's also provided potential opportunities. And specifically, when we see oil fall dramatically, when we see the US dollar strengthen, when we see uh, emerging markets diverge from developed markets, our portfolio managers are um, able to take advantage of those opportunities by moving the portfolio from one position to another, often very quickly given the timeliness needed to implement those portfolio changes. Well, so as we said, certainly a lot of ups and downs in the economy right now uh, globally, and diversification is something that we for years as investors have heard about, almost to the point that it's become cliche. In your view, what does diversification truly mean and how should an investor approach it? I think that there's a natural uh, bias for uh, investors, and it doesn't matter whether they're in Australia or the UK or the US, to have a domestic bias, what we call a domestic bias. And by that I mean they typically are more familiar with their local market, and because of that, they end up having more of their portfolio invested in the local market. If you want to look at numbers for an Australian investor, for instance, the Australian equity market represents about 2% of the total capital of equity markets worldwide. Yet many Australians have 50% of their portfolio in Australian equities. The vast majority of the benefit of investing in equities is to pick up what we often call the equity risk premium. So that's the additional return one would potentially expect for investing in a more risky asset class. We have done a lot of research over the years and it's been proven th throughout um, the last 40 years that investing in a globally diversified equity portfolio is a much more efficient way of picking up that equity risk premium. Well, Pete, talk about some of the strategies then that Russell is employing in uh, global shares or equities this year. Sure. So when we look at the returns that we expect for global equities over the 2015 calendar year, it's probably somewhere between 5 and 10%, so uh, not overly large. In that sort of environment, transaction costs have a much bigger impact or potential impact on our clients' portfolios. So in emerging markets where we're often having exposure to exotic strategies and more illiquid markets, we've introduced something called centralized portfolio management, which gives our clients exposure to the strategies we want, but in a much more efficient way. So we're leaving less money through transaction costs on the table. Pete, just as we wrap up, is there anything that investors should be keenly aware of, in your view, as we move forward into the remainder of 2015? I think that there's probably two themes. The first is volatility. I think that we're going to see continued volatility, divergence across different asset classes, across different currencies, and that volatility, I think, is going to provide ample potential opportunity for our portfolio managers to take advantage of those misvaluations. The second one is, in a relatively low return environment, active management has 
more economic significance to the ultimate client's return. So being able to identify best of breed investment managers that can add incremental value over the market is going to have a much larger impact on the client's end investment outcome than if we were in a different environment. So I think both taking advantage of volatility and employing active strategies is is certainly something that will be important during 2015. And certainly the potential is there for those both to be um, big factors in client portfolios. Pete, as always, we appreciate your thank time you. today. Thank you so much for being with us again. And thank you for joining us again here on Russell Investment Perspectives. We'll see you next time. Thank you.